Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum asalam. Could you please clarify about the Surah Waqiyah, chapter 56, regarding the touching of the Holy Quran without wudu? And... No, but that's the question that he wants to know that can we touch the Quran without wudu? And there's a verse in the Quran, Surah Waqiyah, chapter 56, referring to the verses number 77 to 88. Can you explain that? But many people are misunderstanding that you cannot touch the Quran without wudu. This verse of the Quran says, in a nutshell, I'll say, it says that we have revealed the Quran and none shall touch the Quran except those who are pure. Now the word used is mutahareen, those who are pure. Many people think that if you are in wudu, you become a mutahareen. Now this purity, what the Quran refers, if you know the background and the Nuzul Quran, when was this verse revealed? We come to know. If you read the tafsir, various tafsir of Ibn Qasim, other tafsir, we come to know that there was an allegation that these verses which the Prophet was receiving that were being revealed to him, Nauz Billah, it was a revelation from the devil. So in reply to this allegation, Allah reveals another verse that none shall touch the Quran except those who are pure. Now this purity, Mutahareen, doesn't refer to only bodily purity. It refers to pure in mind, in body, in thinking, absolute 100% masum, which no human being can be. 100%. It is referring to the angels. That no one can touch the Quran except the angels. That means the devil cannot interfere in between. And the Quran referred here is not referring to the Musaf. This is a Musaf, means a copy of the Quran. Talking about the Quran in Lohim Hafuz. As Allah says, about the tablet well preserved. So that Quran, which is in the heaven, tablet well preserved, no one can come close to it, no one can touch except the angels. Mutaharin mentioned doesn't refer to only bodily purity. Tahara means only wudu, it doesn't refer to that. It refers to absolute purity. And it doesn't refer to this Quran, it refers to the tablet well preserved in the heaven. If it refers to this Quran and it referred to normal wudu, any non-Muslim can go in the market and purchase the Quran for 150 rupees easily and can touch it. That means the Quran will be proved wrong. No one can touch it, I can touch it, he'll touch it. So it is no way referring to wudu and touching this Quran, referring to the absolute purity and about lohim efus. But generally, if someone is in wudu and touches the Quran, it is preferable, it is mustahab. It's not a fard. Those scholars differ. There's no verse in the Quran or Hadith which says that wudu is compulsory for touching the Quran. Wudu is compulsory for offering salah. And it was the system of the Prophet, he preferred being in wudu always. So it's not a fard, it's not a requirement you should be in wudu. But it is preferable. There's no verse in the Quran, the Hadith, we say it is fun. Hope that answers the question.